I remember sitting in a train alone, going to another city, when I was five years old. My parents decided to send me to this small Russian village to join an elementary school. They just sent me alone to my uncle, asking people in the train to look after me. It was just after the 90s when our country was transitioning from the socialist times to democracy. But a few years later, life changed for many families, including ours. Food became scarce and shops were empty. We used to run a few kilometers just to find one bread. And if we managed to find one, it was such a big accomplishment. During this transition period, many people lost their jobs and had to move to trade. The same happened to my parents. Although they had a good education from Russia and worked as engineers in a government agency, they had to change their careers to trade. I've seen my parents doing all kinds of business, from selling candies to supplying electric cables. Looking back, we can see how our lives changed in these 30 years. We all have different stories to share from our childhood that shape who we are today, why we do what we do, and how we want to take our lives going forward. If I reflect on who I am, I represent a typical family from Mongolia, born and raised in Ulaanbaatar. This is my neighborhood outside my home office. Going from here to the league universities was not easy. In fact, going abroad itself was not that common back in those days, and it seemed like a mission impossible when we were in high school. Plus, the scholarship programs were so limited that I had to study hard to get my scholarship to Japan and to Oxford for my master's degree. Having the opportunity to study abroad gave me the advantage to pursue a career I wanted. Now, I work in the Asian Development Bank, doing many exciting work related to innovation, knowledge management, and futures thinking. Before joining ADB, I used to work in the private sector, managing climate finance for the first wind farm in Mongolia, and doing many other interesting roles to support the renewable energy development. If I recall how I started my career, there is certainly a big contrast. I started working since entering the college when I was 16, doing different kinds of part-time job, from being a tour guide to working in a television and restaurant. After graduation, my first official job started with a World Bank project on carbon finance, and this work opened me the doors to many interesting work that I've been doing in the last 11 years. Probably, my parents never thought I would work in the energy sector, but it's been an amazing experience and I feel so happy and proud that I got to work in this area supporting the sustainable infrastructure development. When you're in the development sector supporting mega energy projects and seeing how your team's work is, is driving the development to supply sustainable energy to people, it gives so much meaning and importance to our daily work. You can feel you're part of a bigger mission leading the impactful work. What I understood so far is that we don't have to be experts in everything we do in order to make an impact. What is important is to continuously learn and apply the learnings on the ground. It's important to learn fast, fail fast if needed, and move on fast to the next level to be better than yesterday, every day. It's about having the right attitude, eagerness to contribute, and having the ability to quickly adjust to different dynamics of the team and the multicultural environment. Everyone has a role to play, and each job has something to offer to us to get a new perspective. Although we face different challenges in our lives and work, we always have the power to overcome them. Sometimes we don't realize how much power we have within us to overcome the difficulties. All depends on which mindset we choose. I choose to smile and be positive even if things are not great. I try to help others as much as I can and be mindful of others' context when it comes to work. I notice this culture a lot in ADB to be caring for each other. There's a lot of trust in staff from the management and they truly mean to nurture younger staff to let them grow. If I think of my long-term career goals, many parts of it become associated with what my father wanted. In a way, realizing his dreams in the energy sector has become part of my goal. So I always used to think that one day I will tell that Daddy, I did it, I was able to do it. But now I know what I should be saying, that I'm doing it every day with my work. I'm doing it not just for my family or my country, 
but for the many people who are benefiting from our work. Every little effort that we make on a daily basis is what will bring us to where we want to go. The train that my parents sent me a long time ago led me to Manila to ADB's headquarter office. This is just my story representing one of the 68 member countries of ADB. I'm sure you have inspiring stories to share with us and we would be happy to hear from you. Join and work with us. Your experience is an important part of our diversity to drive the change we want to see. Thank you for your attention.